Now, kindly allow me to take you back a little bit to the political history. Way back in the year 2010, Raila Odinga fired William Ruto as a cabinet secretary together with Adan Duale over graft suspicion. Mwai Kibaki also fired his cabinet secretaries without any fear. But this is becoming more challenging to William Ruto. This is causing a lot of headache to William Ruto. What exactly should President William Samuel Arap Ruto do in this case, in this kind of a situation? Should William Ruto follow what Mwai Kibaki did? Should William Ruto follow what his advisors are telling him to do? Or he fears that it will affect his politics on the ground? Should William Ruto fire the top cabinet secretaries in his administration who are underperforming in their dockets? I want us to get into the deeper details of this issue. As we speak, William Ruto's advisors are mounting pressure on him to crack a whip on his top cabinet secretaries who are failing William Ruto. The cabinet secretaries who are shaming President William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. The cabinet secretaries who are underperforming in the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. President William Ruto's advisors have already forwarded the names of six cabinet secretaries advising William Ruto that he must fire them or demand their resignations immediately. I will read for you that article, which says, Ruto's big headache. Six of President's ministries fighting crisis. It proceeds to say that President William Samuel Ruto is facing a delicate balancing act as pressure mounts on him to crack a whip on some of his government officials amid growing crisis within his administration from the ongoing doctor's strike. You know, the ongoing doctor's strikes is a matter that should be handled by the CS for health. Nakumicha. To the fake fertilizer scandal, the issue of the fake fertilizer scandal should be handled by the CS of Agriculture, Midika Linturi, and banditry ravaging parts of the country. On matters, banditry should be handled by the CS for Interior, Kidure Kindiki, and many, many more others. Challenges facing William Ruto's cabinet secretaries who are failing to solve the issues going on in Kenya. What should William Ruto do to them? Should William Ruto fire them? Should William Ruto demand their resignations? Should William Ruto reshuffle them? What is the best decision that you can advise William Ruto to do? In my considered opinion, there is no way William Ruto can fire his cabinet secretaries at all. William Ruto cannot make that particular mistake. I want to give you three reasons why William Ruto will not fire, will not demand resignations from his underperforming cabinet secretaries. Before we go into the details, I'm requesting you, if you're listening to me and you haven't subscribed, 
please just take a second or two and subscribe to this channel for more political updates. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this particular video to reach out to others so that we can grow. And also, I want to appreciate my subscribers who are listening to me. I want to appreciate you for your continued support because without the support, this channel cannot be where it is. And that is why I don't take the support for granted. Now, let us go straight into the details. Reason number one is that William Ruto is a man who is well known for rewarding political loyalty. I want you to understand that almost all of William Ruto's appointed cabinet secretaries are the same same people who stood with William Ruto during his lowest moment. When William Ruto was being fought left, right and center, when William Ruto was being frustrated, they stood with William Ruto family. Someone like Aisha Jumwa, who stood with William Ruto all along. These CS are the ones who made William Ruto to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. Therefore, they are the founders of the UDA party. The same same cabinet secretaries are the founders of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. They contributed a lot. Most of these cabinet secretaries contributed to William Ruto's campaigns. You know, some people wondered where William Ruto got money to campaign. It was through contributions. And this CS contributed a lot for William Ruto. They played a very, very big role. William Ruto does not know how to betray the people who have stood with him. William Ruto rewards loyalty. If it were Raila Amolodinga, by now, very many cabinet secretaries would have been fired. So instead of firing them, instead of William Ruto demanding their resignations, he will find a way to sort out the issue. Apart from firing them. Number two, William Ruto fears that the leaders, the cabinet secretaries, if fired, if they will resign, they can lead a resistance against William Ruto on the ground. It is very easy. They will just join the opposition. In politics, never ever underrate your competitor. Just imagine a situation whereby someone like Moses Kuria, someone like Mithi Kalinduri, have been fired by William Ruto. Do you think that Moses Kuria can agree that to, that to happen? Of course, he will go back to the ground and lead a resistant movement against William Ruto. Even if it will not have any effect, there is no need for that. And someone like Moses Kuria has been so loyal to President William Ruto, someone like Mithi Karinduri, and very, very many other Mount Kenya leaders. Someone like Kidure Kindiki, who was almost becoming the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, he was denied that chance. And I remember he was very, very angry. But William Ruto rewarded him with that position of the CS for Interior. A very powerful docket there. So these leaders can go against William Ruto. And William Ruto does not want that to happen. There's no need. And finally, William Ruto can opt for a cabinet reshuffle, just like what he did previously. If a cabinet secretary has a challenge on handling certain situations, they are underperforming. William Ruto can just reshuffle them to another docket. That is why William Ruto cannot fire his cabinet secretaries. And very, very many other reasons behind that. I don't know what you think, 
I want to know your thoughts and your opinions concerning this matter in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I don't have much. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. My name is Jason. Bye-bye.